Do you, you believe? believe? Hmm? After, after you question him, then yeah. you can put it. Do you believe there is God? All right. Do I believe that there is a God? Yeah. Well, in order for me to believe that there is a God, I must go back to the root of where the, the existence of the word God comes from. You get what I'm saying? Now, not only that, but we have to look at the word believe. Because when it's a difference between believing and knowing. I don't believe that there is no God. I know that there is no God. You know how I know that there is no God? Because if there was a God, and we go back into the ideologies and theories of these religions and look at the acts of God, but God said he's kind, he's forgiven, merciful, God protect. Then why is it that when you go to court, you have to be judged? And when they judge, when, and when they are unjust with their judgment, where is God? Where is the law? When our people was being shot down. Yeah. Where was God in, in South Carolina when that white clone walked in there and shot those black women? Yeah. Even if it was staged, why would God allow things such as this exactly. to be uh, inducted within the environment of his children? Right. If we are all God's children, Chinese, Japanese, white, and black, why would God allow one race, so-called race, over, over another to oppress another part of his children? That's like me having a son and a daughter. And me telling a daughter to enslave the son. There's no meaning to that. Right. What is the meaning to it if there is a meaning to that? Right. Not only that, but when you say God and dyslexia, the word is dog. You have to look at it at all angles. So when we are utilizing the word God, we have to ask the question of who was the man, who was the first man? Like right now, if I created a word, ukulu, which is a high frequency word, ukulu. And then 10,000 years down the line, you got people worshiping that word. But they don't know me. Right. I'm a homosexual. I touch kids, right? Mm -hmm. But then next thing you know, 10,000 years, they, they worshiping ukulu. And then they then they're doing foul things. Don't know why they're doing foul things. Right. Because they don't want to look at the root of who created the word ukulu. Mm -hmm. They just trying to pick off the tree and think that the fruit is grown without roots, that it had, it grew without a root. But every tree needs a root in order to grow. So who's the first person who created God? Right. Who created religion? Because we have to understand that the Greeks, if they created the word God, then you have to go back and do the history of the Greeks. The Greeks studied from the Egyptians, but they also plagiarized the work of the Egyptians. Big up to Dr. Bear and Dr. Clark. That's where I get that from. So when we are seeing that they are plagiarizing, the word plagiarize is a negative Definition when it comes to connecting it to a certain act. When you plagiarize, you're taking something that's a reality and you're making it an illusion for your agenda to control the people. And that's what they did. They used God to control the people. And not only that, but these people knew. If I want to go deeper, these people knew due to certain entities that they were, that they were um, communicating with through parallel realities and universes, which is far beyond the reptilians. They knew how to interact with the psychology of those who were dominant at that time in a diaspora that we call Africa. But they were not only in Africa. We were in what we call America. We were in what we call China, Japan. They wiped us out. And they started cre to create clones, which you call Chinese and Japanese. Go get the cartoon on Family Guys, the episode where he say, well, it's time to come up with a new um, race of people who was good with intelligence. And they had the Chinese man sitting inside the machine. He said, well, I created a new people who was good at technology. Not in those words. And that's good at technology. They have little penises, but they can work it. Right. But they are good at technology. We can put them here for that. That's what they're talking about. They put a lot of subliminal messages, but sometimes the subliminal message could be a reality. Right. But we see it as entertainment. And as long as we see it as entertainment, it goes over our head. We're not old because we're Africans. We're not great because we're black. It's because we have something in us that we think is a physical DNA. We have two types of DNA. We have a spiritual DNA that connects us to every celestial body within the constellations of Orion. And it's called dark matter. When you study dark matter, when it becomes dark energy, it's melanin. Everybody has melanin. Even Europeans, we need to stop this shit. Europeans have melanin, but they have a common type. But the melanin that we have, which is carbon, is identical to dark matter. And dark matter is the oldest element that you will find in the universe. What we call the universe. I don't even know what the universe is. 
So how can I say that even with me speaking the universe, yeah, a lot of people say, well, you still speak in English. But one English word is more detrimental than another. People say, well, you don't want to say God, but you still use it English. Of course. Because if I am in a fight and somebody smacked me with a stick, and that represents being a king, but then somebody shoot me in the face and that represents being God, I would rather be smacked with a stick for using that. Because I know that God is more detrimental to my people than being called a king. Just to get that straight, for all you people out there who want to troll the pages. So when we're talking about God, God was the, the word God was created by man. God wasn't here from the beginning of the time. Nobody was here in the beginning of the time. How can I tell you what the beginning of the time consisted of when I wasn't here in the beginning of time? And a lot of the people who wrote your books talking about they knew what was here in the beginning of the time were people who was born just like you and I. They wasn't here in the beginning of the time. At what time? We can't say they was here in the beginning of the time because time is an English word. You can't say they was here in the beginning because the beginning is an English word. So I think we've enslaved ourselves with other people's theories and concepts. And when you start to digest other people's theories and concepts, you become the theory and concept. And when you become the theory and concept, they can shape that theory, which you are, and then conceptualize you on a whole new other level of frequency, and now they're controlling your whole mind. Because now you have black people arguing European theories. Is the earth flat? Is the earth round? Who said it was? Why is either one of them right? To tell you the truth. Because who taught you that the earth was flat and who taught you that it was round? And when you, when you figure out who taught you that the earth was flat and who taught you that the earth was round, you'll find out that they wasn't here 10,000 years ago. Mm. Wow. Right? Yeah. yeah. If, if, if Europeans are only 6,000 years old, which their own scientists even admit to, in religion, you can go into the Bible and find out that Adam and Eve is only six, a little over 6,000 years old. But again, you have anthropologists finding bones of African women over 3.2 million years old in Ethiopia. Yes. But they have now superseded Ethiopia and found bones right here in the Americas. Five million years old. So if Adam and Eve is the first human beings on the earth, 6,000 years old, but anthropologists are finding bones five million years old, then the chronology does not add up. That's a lie. It's a lie. That's why I said we need to use our natural law, which is common sense. When you study nature, nature don't go to the supermarket. Nature don't have to go to court for driving. Nature don't have, it, it was one time we didn't have cars. And you know what? We were more healthier. Yeah. 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 It was one time but we didn't need universities. Because we had something that was called common sense. Math existed at a time where universities wasn't here, but we didn't call it math, we called it common sense. I know certain crackheads today that I can go to, and if something breaks down, they never went to the school for the subject that they're coming to work on for me, but they can get it fixed because they're using their common sense, and they need the money, which is not a good thing. Again, money is a physical soul for those who don't have a spiritual soul. Say that again, please. Money is a physical soul for those who don't have a spiritual soul. So they, now you see all these black people over in Hollywood selling their soul for a soul that's worthless, that they can print up at any time. You get what I'm saying? So it's time for us to stand up today and start using our mind again because technology is only dumbing us down. It's dumbing us down. We communicated with the stars at one time. When you studied the Dogon tribe, it supersedes the Dogon tribe. There were other tribes that existed before the Dogons which I'm in the tribe of the Dogon tribe. Those are my people. But there were people who superseded, who superseded my spiritual family who could create or they can actually communicate with certain things within the constellations or what they call the constellations today. The star systems is nothing but a USB system. And the USB has what in it? Information. And you are the computer, which is the mind. This is not your real body. Your real body is... That which is connected to the brain, which is your mind. That's your spiritual body. That's your light body. So if you are really in tune with yourself, you can connect yourself to that USB, which they call the stars, and take that information. See, in the dream world, people don't understand that your dream is your reality. This is an illusion. When you wake back up to this realm, you're falling asleep. But when you go back into your dream, you are waking up. Mm. Left brain, right brain has been flopped. Flip Whoa. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm, yes. Thank you. So before there was a God, 
before there was a creator, before there was a man, before there was a woman, before there was a son, there was. And this is only for those whose third eyes open. Because remember, words were created by men. So what were we before words? We were, we were more than energy. Energy is a word. Do you get what I'm saying? So now we have to be very thought-provoking to ourselves. Because that's the only way we'll be able to open up certain things that's asleep in us. When we're sitting here, we were sitting with everything that we needed. When you are given a laptop and it's sold to you, it's sold with the software that you need. Only sometimes you may have to download your security, but your security is your common sense to say, don't go with this. Don't trust this brother. Don't trust that, even though everybody following that. That's your security. That's your Norton. Yes. That's your McKeefe. Yes. Your McKeefe, your Norton, all of that stuff that you need for your physical computer is your safety for your spiritual computer, which is your common sense. We don't need laws that's created by man. Justice is not for you. If you ain't got it already, then goddamn it, it ain't for you. You can't march for justice. If you don't have justice already in your spiritual mind, or if you don't have justice already in your spiritual morality, nobody can give you justice. Because if I can give you justice right now, I can take it away from you. If I give you 40 acres and a mule right now, I've created a system where you're going to give all of that money back to the system that gave you your 40 acres and the mule. You're going to be buying rims, putting it right back into the Europeans' hand. You're not going to be building schools. You're going to be buying guns to put it right back into the Europeans' hand instead of setting up your own manufacturing system to create your own guns. I mean, even if we want to go further, you're going to be creating, even if those who say, no, nah, I'm going to create a black bank, there's no such thing as a black bank because those who create the black banks is the FDIC, and the FDIC is not a black face. <coughs> there's no such thing as a black business because those who, who own a black business have to go through the IRS, who is the International Collection Agency for the IMF, the International Monetary Fund System, who have to check in every year to make sure that they report to the fucking European to make sure that they got what they need to pay them. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So if you have to check in to your slave master, it's not a black business, nor a black bank, nor a black school. And this is why I say I'm going to freestyle. I don't need a damn building to teach these children. When I say children, I'm talking about some adults too. I don't need a physical building. This is why I send 3,000 books worldwide, not just America, but in Africa, UK. I do it every month. Because we sit here waiting on some damn physical buildings to teach our youth. We don't need physical buildings. Mm. I'm sitting right here teaching right now. Yeah. I'm in Africa teaching right now. Somebody got my book open. And they don't need a building to sit in that says Osaka Forest Building to be reading that book. And we don't need books to learn. But I am thought provoked that I'm making you think. I'm not here as a leader. That's the problem. Everybody want to be leaders. Everybody don't want to be just. Mm. It was a time when we were just. But now since we have grabbed, we want to grasp the concept to be like the slave master. We grasp the titles like Moors and not knowing that that is very identical to the title of the slave master. We grasp the titles like Christians and not knowing that we, that's very identical to the titles of the slave master. You say, how is that on sacred for? Let's go to Christianity. Because when I'm standing in the pulpit, and I'm telling people that God needs your money in order for God to love you, then you must first show me a bank account with God's name on it. Because if the church's name is on it and the pastor's name is on it, that ain't God's account. Why would God need money when God created the trees that you say? I'm just speaking from y'all perception. If God existed and God need money and God is superior the way that y'all God say that God is superior, why would God need your money if God created the trees that print the fucking money? Answer the questions, pastors. When you see this video, get at me, 202-749-0362. We need to ask these questions. Yes. Yep. To the Muslims who run around and think they're so holy, stop eating pork. It's not good for you. A lot not favorite. You're not a favorite of a lobby, but if you eat enriched flour, anything that is enriched, and I know when you make your bean pies, you use enriched flour. Anything enriched comes from a pig. You have to cut 50% of a cell from a pig and clone it. 
anything that comes from a pig is swine. Do your whole homework because your Quran is not going to teach you everything. All of these religions are messed up. The only thing that I respect is Buddhism to a certain extent. Why? Because they go to nature for judgment. They go to nature for judgment. All right? So with that much said, Black Science TV 111, 064, I'm out.